Today we're going to talk about the power of not knowing everything. One of the most important traits that you'll see with any successful person is that they don't know everything. They are constant learners. They surround themselves with people that they are learning from and people who help them grow. They are constant readers. That's why you will find that they read a lot. They read a lot of motivational books. They read a lot of business books. They read a lot of books that monitors the trends. They read a lot of technology books. They read a lot of books that involves the human mind. How the human mind thinks. How the human mind learns. They read voraciously. They are people who their libraries in their homes are bigger than their kitchens because they are people who love to learn. You see, so they don't know everything and that's the reason why they become so successful. I am one of those people who love to learn. I will always be a lifelong learner. I'm learning every single day and I love learning. I love reading. My average time of watching TV per week is probably 30 minutes a day. You might say, really? Yes. I spend more of my time reading than I spend on anything else. You know, I read a lot. I invest at least three hours every day in my personal growth. And uh, it hasn't always been that way. It has, I started out at 15 minutes, then changed it to an hour, then went up to two hours. Now I'm at three hours. And I spend that three hours every single day as I go through the day dealing with growing me, dealing with reading, dealing with understanding others. It's very important that as we interact with others, that we learn how people think. We learn about them. We learn about cultures. We learn about people. We learn about what they want. We learn about what they desire. I tutor, I mentor, I coach, uh, I, and I teach. And all of those avenues in which I use, I have to learn about my students. I have to understand about them. I have to understand what they're desiring to do. What are their outcomes? What are they wanting to do in life? A lot of them are, are, are world changers. And because they're world changers, I have to be able to communicate with them at their levels. I have to be able to speak into their lives. And also, I get the great opportunity opportunity for them to speak into my life as well into my life as well i get to learn from them just like they are they're learning from me and that's one of the beauty about it. When I tutor, I have to be able to understand each student. I have to be able to understand them where they are. I have to be able to motivate them. You see, it's not only about me being able to teach them what they need to learn, but it's about me equipping them to be confident in themselves and be helping them to rise up instead of just sitting there. You see, I train people every single day not to be chewing gum on the ground, stuck to the ground, but to be bouncing rubber balls. They have to learn to bounce back. When things or disappointment comes along in their life, they have to be able to come back from those disappointments and they have to be able to go forward. We always hear this in the whole statement, it's okay if my kid is a C student, it's okay if you get a C. Once you pass, that's fine. It's good, you know, at least you pass. There's a lot of people who work for people who are C students, you know, or C students, you know. They're not A students, but they're C students. But the unique thing with those people who are successful than a typical C student is this. I don't have a problem with anybody getting a C. If that's what you truly got, that's the grade you got. The problem that I have is when you do nothing or you tr do not try and then you get a C. If you're putting your all into it and you're doing everything with the spirit of excellence and you're giving it your best shot and you're sitting down and you're meticulously going through your work and you're learning the material and you're embracing the learning process and you're going out there and you're doing your best and you're realizing that you don't know everything and you're realizing with the law of compound effect taking effect as you learn, you're going to grow. And if you do all of that and you end up with a C, thumbs up to you. 
But if you end up with a C and you do absolutely nothing, you just do the bare minimum to get by, as you always will hear me say, there is no room for average. I don't like to be around average persons because the fundamental fact is um, there is nothing average about me and there is nothing average about you. And I will always encourage people to do things with a spirit of excellence because you should never think that you're average. You're not average. You're an extraordinary human being. You are an extraordinary piece of human machinery. You were put together by one of the, mo the, the, the most intelligent beam in the entire world, or in the entire galaxy, in the entire universe, in the entire scope of time. And you were put together, you were crafted together, and you are a unique individual. And because of your uniqueness, you are special. And because you are special, you should always rise to be extraordinary. How do you rise to be extraordinary? You get up every single day and you go out there and you do everything with a spirit of excellence. If you're doing school, do it with a spirit of excellence. And don't let anybody tell you that it's okay to be average. If, you know, you should always strive to give the best that you can. If you go to a, a cow and you're milking a cow, you want the cow to give you the best milk that it can. If your mom or, or, or your dad is cooking, you want them to cook the best meal that they can. You don't want them just slapping it together and then giving it to you. You want them giving you your best. You know, you go to the mechanic and the mechanic is fixing your car. You want the mechanic to give you the best job. You, the painter comes and paints your house. You want the, be the painter to give you the best paint job. The builder is building your house. You don't want to just slap it together. So why do you do that with your learning? You know, you shouldn't do that with your learning. You should always strive to be extraordinary. Always strive to learn more. You see, life is a learning process. Life is a continuous process that, that grows. You know, as I said, I, I have so many awesome friends around me. And they're awesome because the fundamental thing, I learn from so many of them. And I get to deal with so many different people every single day. And a lot of times, people don't take the time to understand others. I try to take the time to dissect and understand my friends, understand my students, understand the people that I speak with, understand the people that I'm with. Because when you understand them, you understand their goals, you understand their aspirations, you understand what they're all about, you understand what makes them tick. So you're able to celebrate with them, you're able to help them, you're able to cheer them on. But when we do not understand others, we don't realize that, you, you know, that they want to do something. We don't see what they want to do. And that's, a, that's one of the things of the power of not knowing everything. We have to learn to understand others. We have to learn to see how they think, why they say certain things. It's amazing. I could say one thing and uh, I realize in a, a certain circles, you say one thing to one person, it's almost like writing a newspaper and putting my name at the top of it and exactly what I said, because you said it to one person and a hundred other people know the same thing that you just said. You know, and uh, a lot of times so your, your words or what you say could be taken out of context. You see, and because it's taken out of context and it's not uh, explained, because they may not know exactly the whole story about it. They may not know why you didn't go to the football game. They didn't know that you had a stomach ache or your mom was ill or something. They didn't know why you didn't show up to school. You probably you didn't have any clean clothes to wear. But you're not going to tell people that. So people don't know your story. And because they don't know your story, because they don't know everything, they jump to conclusions. So what I'm trying to say here is I'm encouraging each and every one of you and each and every one of us should always remember we don't know everything and we should always go out with the intentions of learning. We should always go out with the intention of embracing, embracing others. We should always go out with the intentions of growing. We should always go out in the intentions of constantly leveling up because as you constantly level, it, level up, you will head towards success. You, as you constantly level up, up, you will achieve your dreams. As you constantly level up, you will fulfill the purpose that you desire to fulfill.
we look at all what's going on in the world in terms of the pandemic, in terms of the economy and all of that. I re as I said, I read a lot of books about management and, and, and economic trends and AI, artificial intelligence and blockchain analysis and shipping and all of those stuff. And, and as you look around, you know, people might look at things as being dismal, but then you look at uh, the, the change, the change that's occurring and all the different changes. And as you look at those different changes, and then as you surround your, yourself with people that you could learn from, you could realize that you could benefit from a lot of the things that are happening. You see, things that may seem like it's dismal, things that may seem like it's going backwards, is actually leapfrogging forwards. You know, and always remember to encourage one another. And as you encourage one another every single day, and just remember one thing too. You don't know everything. None of us know everything. None of us have all the answers. And not, a lot of times when you assume things about people, you're wrong. You see, get to know people. Get to understand them. And then learn to be trustworthy. When people speak to you, learn to keep what they say to you private. Whenever they want you to, to keep it private. You see, people should be able to speak to you without you writing your own newspaper and handing it around. So go out there today and, and, and learn the power of not knowing everything and have an awesome growth day. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. And remember when you hit the subscribe button below, um, the, select the bell. Because by selecting the bell, you have the wonderful opportunity to be notified whenever I add a future video. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.